Hello YouTube, so today we're going to create a joystick in Unity 3D. Um, this is for the people who are like, they get stuck, they don't know like what to do. Like they either want to create a 2D or 3D game and they're like, oh what do I do? I don't know how to create a joystick that's going to work for my phone. Um, this joystick should work for 2D and 3D. Um, I think right now I'm just going to create one for 2D. Uh, maybe later if I get views on this one and if people like this one I will create another one on how to do a 3d one uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video and then after that open up unity go to file new project and just name it joystick uh, leave it at 2d and just create project all right uh, I downloaded an arrow which is gonna be our joystick thingy uh, from Google I'll leave that in the description. Everything's gonna be in the description, actually. Uh, and then let me add some sprites here. Okay. So, wait. Let's see. Let's see. Um, we don't have a box. Let's add these two. All right. Yeah. Let me delete this one. I don't need that. All right. So now what we're gonna do? I'm just gonna put everything in order um okay that looks good and main block is gonna be like where the ball is gonna be on okay let me duplicate this and size it down scene okay so there we have it now nah, that doesn't look good let me change the colors too bright too. A little. Let me see. Okay, so um, if you guys hear noise in the background, it's Fourth of July. Uh, ignore, ignore that. So what um, what I'm gonna do now? Sorry, this isn't the best looking game or wait let me let me see how this is gonna work i don't want that to be like that wow so yeah i guess we'll just use it like that it's not gonna look good but okay so let me add this ball let me add physics rigid body um let me add okay just leave the ball like that um let's see let's freeze rotation on all axis Freeze position on the Z axis, or is it gonna be moving on the Z axis? Nope. So now what we want to do, let me size this down or scale it down. What happens here? Um, let's leave that like that. Oops, go back to 2D. Let me click the main block and let's add physics. Box collider, okay, that looks good. Everything looks good. All right, so we're ready to start making our joystick so first go to game object UI button and then what we want to do select the canvas uh, scale with screen size uh, then what you want to do now let's delete the text in the button and duplicate this button like four times all right so once you've done that let's add this images sprite as our button I can't even see the canvas what am I doing okay so let me delete all these buttons again uh, let me add another button so UI button this one should be there all right let me delete this once I delete this I'm going to drag the images sprite Oops, is a texture. Is it? It's a sprite. Okay, let me do that again. I'm gonna drag the images sprite right here. All right, there we have it. Let's scale it. Uh, that's about right. I'm gonna put the joystick like right down here. Let me scale it a little bit. Okay, let's see. All right, right there. And let me duplicate this button duplicate it again and again okay now we have that 
let's rotate this button let's see how am I gonna rotate this I think it's on the Z axis like 180 degrees ooh okay I got that I got this so now what I'm going to do next let me get the other duplicates let's rotate this 90 degrees all right that one's gonna go right here all right let's see uh, let me rotate this one here negative 90 degrees okay so as you see our button lay our um, joystick isn't pretty isn't pretty at all but it's gonna work and that's all that matters right um, let me move this button here like that let me yeah I think that's it so now what we want to do let's go to let's click play so this is what happens when we click play <laughs> what the hell it's not supposed to fall through that but as you guys see that's what happens and our buttons actually click that's a good thing all right so now what we want to do let's see what's wrong with this ball why is it falling I thought I added a sphere sphere collider uh, so let's click sphere collider let me go here let me scale it down all right now let's hit play all right we're good that's all we need now let's just create a script uh, create a JavaScript just name it but button button one just button one okay so what we're gonna do here this is pretty simple um, okay let's let Mona develop load All right. So what we're gonna do here is just name our variable. So var player game object. All right, we got that done, and I think the speed we want to go. So var speed one equals one. Let me go back and leave it speed one and var speed 2 equals oh my god speed 2 equals 2 var speed 3 equals 3 um i think that's all we need no var speed 4 speed 4 equals 4 okay now we're going to we don't need this actually uh we're just going to go to we're gonna create a new function called public public function and we're gonna name this function let's say right okay so this function is just gonna move us to the right um, let's see all we're gonna say is player dot rigged body dot velocity dot um x axis right equals and then speed one all right that's the first one and next one is left public function left all right now we're just gonna say same thing basically but for left we're just gonna use speed 2 and we're gonna change speed 2 to negative 1 up here okay now public function jump okay we're just gonna do the same thing basically but on the y-axis dot y equals speed three or speed four and then the last one's just public function down you won't be using this function in a 2d game no but we'll just put it there okay so we're just gonna say dot y equals speed three all right that's all we need now let's save this Okay, so let's open up Unity. 
I made a backup, okay. Uh, no errors. Yeah, no errors. I hope. Okay, it looks good. Uh, let's drag our script into our canvas. And then drag our player, which is C, into the player tab right here. Alright, now let's go to our buttons. And on click, we want to click the plus sign. And let's drag the canvas. Okay, now it says no function. And uh, you're going to look for the script. I called the script button one, so look for button one. And then this one's going to be, which button is it? See, we didn't name the buttons. It's going to be hard for us. It's good to name stuff. Um, this is the top one, so this is the up button. So we're going to look for button one. And let's go to jump. So this is jump. And next, we're going to click on click. Drag the canvas. Button one. Is, I think this is the down one. All right, I'm gonna click down. Okay, next one. Button two. Drag the canvas. Uh, button one. This should be. I think. Let me. Let me check to make sure. It's left. Okay, this is the last button, which is right. So let's drag the canvas. Um, button one right okay so now what we want to do is just click play and let's see if it works we click the play i mean we click the right button it moves right left button moves left up button moves up down button it moves up okay so if you want to change your values just go back to canvas and you see all these negative one negative whatever okay we want to say negative three for the bottom one speed one let me set that to six Speed four, eight. Okay, let's see. See, it goes faster. Okay, let's set it to negative six. All right. Oops, I put six. All right. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Everything will be in the description down below. Help me reach 1K subscribers. Um, and leave in the description down below, leave um, if you want to see any tutorial on unity or anything, just leave it in the description down below and I'll try to do it. Um, thank you for watching.